There's a Bernie segment tonight. Some of the most dubious things said after the Paris terror attack. We begin in Stockholm, Sweden, where Madonna said this. There are people who have no respect for human life. And there are people that do atrocious, degrading, and unforgivable things to other human beings. But we will never, ever, ever change this world that we live in if we do not change ourselves. If we do not change the way we treat one another on a daily basis. Joining us now from Miami, the purveyor of BernardGoldberg.com, Mr. Goldberg. So, Bernie, if only you would be a nicer guy, ISIS would retreat. Come on. Stop being sarcastic. I think Madonna makes a very good point. If we behave well towards each other, good things can happen. Here's my advice to Madonna. Tell it to the terrorists. I mean, she, she is a, a savvy businesswoman. I will grant her that. She's a smart businesswoman. But this idea that all we have to do is tell people to play nice and that will change the world and somehow, I'm not clear how, will combat terrorism makes Madonna sound at best naive and at worst idiotic. But here's the problem. You deal with deranged individuals, and that's what ISIS is comprised of, deranged individuals. Seven guys blow themselves up so they can slaughter innocent civilians, and they think they're going to heaven. And no matter how nice you are, Goldberg, or I am, and God knows we are very nice, that's God not going to change deranged individuals. The only thing that changes deranged individuals is incarceration, taking them off, taking them out so they can't harm others. So that's the message, and you can do it a variety of ways. Yes, everybody should be nice to each other, goodwill toward men. But when you hear a pop icon like that spout this gibberish, I, I, I'm just going, my, my God. All right, we have uh, another piece of tape. And this one is a journalist on CNN. Go. Coming up, it's an all too familiar pattern, a well-planned attack on the West followed by a swift and violent response that further strokes the fires of jihad. Will the West make these mistakes again? That's next on GPS. So the response stokes the fires of jihad. The response. Well, listen, Fareed Zakaria is a bright guy. So maybe he's right. Maybe the response is a mistake. Maybe violent responses are a mistake. So, so here's a better idea that uh, maybe Fareed would go along with. Instead of a violent response to the terrorists, maybe the French should send the terrorists flowers and croissants and, and a thank you note. Uh, I would ask Fareed, who's a bright guy, and I, I, I mean that, he clearly is a bright guy, if a violent response is the wrong response, what's the proper response Madonna for people who just kill gave over it to you, hundred Goldberg. innocent people? Madonna, Madonna just gave you the proper response, and Fareed, I'm sure, would agree that we must be nicer to each other. That's, but look, the, you keep saying that this guy, I don't know him, um, is a smart guy, an intelligent guy. That uh, wasn't I got a, smart. I got a, I got a question. Th that wasn't that yeah. wasn't I mean, that smart. Was I one of the, you that. And that's why he's in the dumbest thing said segment, Goldberg. That was just dumb. Just dumb. You have to respond. If you don't respond, you get killed. Just as those poor people in Paris got killed and 3,000 people on 9-11 got killed. You have to respond. But, but what these two, these two examples and the two more that we're going to do in a bit, they fit into a pattern. These aren't conservatives who are thinking this way. These aren't army, military generals who are thinking this way. This is a liberal mindset. It's a liberal mindset that suggests that violence isn't necessarily the answer. Playing nice is a response to terrorism. The only problem is terrorists didn't get the memo on any of this. That's the problem. All right. And I have to tell everybody that there's a rumor going around Washington, D.C. that President Obama is going to appoint Yoko Ono as Secretary of Defense. That is not <laughs> true. Now, we're going to hold Bernie over because we have two more whoppers, as he mentioned, for you. And there is plenty more ahead.